today is the day when I go and get all my paperwork notarized and apostilled. So I'm heading out to uh, Lidl's supermarket. It's just before 8 a.m. Uh, I'm gonna get some croissants, fresh bread, bits and pieces, and then I'll be up to uh, Bristol at 10.30. It's uh, overcast, it's been raining, but and it's a little bit windy, but uh, it's gonna be a good day. This really is the last uh, the last hurdle before um, I make my visit to um, the Philippines to get everything signed off and and completed. When that will be, I'm not really sure, but I'm hopeful. Certainly, within the next few months, it'll be all sorted out, and uh, then that really will be exciting. Fresh croissants. Well, I en well I ended up getting more than I uh, planned to get. But lots of fresh bread and croissants. So back home, have some breakfast, and then head off to Bristol. <laughs> Yay! It's a damp day. It's uh, six degrees. Very overcast. Low cloud. We're heading out uh, off to see Virginia, who is the uh, notarizer. I had an email in from uh, Virginia uh, around uh, 6.45 this morning, just making sure that I had the right information for her. And she actually had a couple of questions for me, which I couldn't answer. So I managed to uh, WhatsApp my uh, agent at the PRA, and she was able to answer the questions that I needed. So I managed to contact uh, so I managed to contact Virginia um, and everything's now in order, so we're now on the way. Well, that was um, very, very good. Um, very nice lady. Um, and um, I'll certainly be giving her some uh, tags and mentioned in my, uh, in my vlogs and uh, to the PRA. Um, basically, um, I thought I was coming here just to get it notarized, but uh, she's a very knowledgeable lady and uh, it needs to go off to the uh, British and Commonwealth people to be um, legally um, apostilled, I think, is what they, what, what they, what, <laughs> apostilled is the word they use, take this off now, apostilled is the word they use, um, so that's all going to get sent off, um, and I should get it back in a couple of weeks time, um, but everything's in order, everything's done, and, um, happy days, so now the only last thing, which is a, a small thing, is to go and see the bank next week and sort out all the transfers and the, the, the documents that I need to uh, set up bank accounts and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, very happy. Very happy.
going to uh, pop in and see my best friend, Jason. Unannounced. <laughs> I have sent a message, um, but we'll see if he's in or whether he's not in. If he's in, we'll have a nice cup of tea together and chit chat. <laughs> So I come and uh, finish off the uh, chat about the notarising company today. Virginia was her name, She's very, very good, very experienced, and asked me the right questions. Not only is it being notarised now, it's also being legalised, so it's, all the paperwork's been notarised and now it's been sent off to the uh, British and Commonwealth Department for them to uh, legalize it and the and I should get it back in about 10 days so really happy really happy and you can see today I am here back at the reservoir those that have seen earlier blogs will know this is a really nice favorite place for me to come and uh, yeah so I thought I'd come down here and have a chat with you all Went to see my friend Jason and we chit chatted about all sorts of things. We, uh, we haven't seen each other for a while, so it's nice to catch up. So, we had a lot of rain this morning a lot of rain. A lot of the roads are flooded, but as you can see now, the uh, sky is blue. The birds are out on the uh, reservoir and it looks like it'll be a nice afternoon. It's going to be cold time now is uh, nearly 2 p.m. So I'm super excited about all the paperwork being completed. It's been a long process but we are um, we are getting towards the end now which is great. Of course we have the uh, Covid situation still. Um, I think there is uh, still quarantine for foreign nationals to get into the uh, Philippines but my plans are all geared towards March so you know two and a half months or so left to see if uh, the regulations get changed and let's hope that they do um, as I don't want to spend uh, two weeks in quarantine when I'm coming over in March just to sort out the PRA um, <clears throat> so we'll see but uh, very excited and really happy that it's all gone so well. So that's another tick. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. So the last, uh, <clears throat> last two days off now, before I return to work on Thursday, short week this week, because I had a day's holiday. So I'm going back on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I am, working then the following week i'm only working friday and saturday because i've got to take on my holiday for this year i think the 17th december i'm then off until the beginning of january so it's going to be a nice a nice break chance to get everything in order and uh with moving to the philippines i'm going to have a lot of stuff to take care of stuff to sell including my car so yeah, lots to do, but super, super excited. Uh, here we are back at the car. I can find my keys. Always a problem when you're going. Keys. 